Hey everybody, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. It is currently mid-August of 2014, and that means two things. One, summer is quickly coming to a close. I'm sorry. And number two, you'll be back in school before you know it. Yeah, you probably hate hearing that, but you know what? It's part of life. Getting an education is extremely important, and I'm just going to cite this to my fellow college students out there. Well, I'm not in college anymore. I graduated in 2009. But just take my advice. Enjoy it while you can. College was seriously the best time of my life. You're surrounded by friends every single day. You wake up with everyone there. You go to parties every single weekend. And you just socialize. Socialize, socialize. And you learn. And you just have fun. It's just a great time. So enjoy it while it lasts. Believe me when I say that. All right, so with that out of the way, let me talk about today's topic, and that's all about notebooks and tablets and gadgets that can improve your college experience as well as high school. So starting out with notebooks, which are obviously a great way of getting your work done on the go, especially if you're not a fan of being tethered to a wall like I am. In other words, with a desktop computer right back there. So if you are a notebook person, and you most likely are if you're in college, then I think you'll like these three suggestions that I have in mind. Number one is the MacBook Air. Not only is the MacBook Air incredibly light, and believe me, when I say light, it's ultra light, and you get an all day battery life, which is very, very important. So let's say you wake up in the morning, you have your first class at 8, 9 a.m., and your last class of the day doesn't finish up till maybe 6, 7, 8 o'clock p.m. That's not a problem whatsoever because the MacBook Air is guaranteed to last you all day long. And it's also worth noting that the MacBook Air was recently updated in April. I mean, it's rumored to have a retina display in the coming months, but the fact that it was just updated a few months ago, I think that's a pretty good deal. Now, the MacBook Air is available in both 11 inch and 13 inch sizes. All right, so if you want my opinion, and this obviously comes down to personal preference, I'm a huge fan of the 11 inch MacBook Air. It's ultra portable, you still get that fast notebook like performance, and it's just overall a very small laptop. You can just throw it in your bag and be on your way. And the best part, it starts at $899, which is not a bad price for an Apple notebook. So the next notebook I'm gonna talk about is yes, still in the Apple line, and that is the MacBook Pro. It's just like the MacBook Air, which I just finished describing, but as the title suggests, it's definitely a more professional notebook. And honestly, it's a desktop-like experience, but on the go. So not only do you get this awesome performance, but you also get access to the Retina display. Now believe me when I say this, guys, the Retina display is just beautiful. This is especially useful if your major has to do with anything related to design, video editing, modern art, or anything like that. Now, in my opinion, the Retina display is something that you should not ignore. It's just a beautiful display. Now, of course, you're gonna pay a small premium for that kind of technology, but I think it's worth it, of which I'll talk about in a moment. But I will say the MacBook Pro was just updated in July. So that right there is a very good deal. And unlike the MacBook Air, it is available in the size of 15 inch, which is very convenient for designers like myself. I mean, if you need a lot of screen real estate for Photoshop or editing videos such as in Final Cut Pro 10 or Adobe After Effects and Premiere, then the 15 inch display is definitely the one you wanna be looking at. But like the MacBook Air, it is also available in 13 inch. So if you want that desktop like experience on the go, but you don't want a huge display, then in my opinion, the 13 inch MacBook Pro is perfect. Okay, so the MacBook Pro with Retina Display does start at $1299, which isn't too crazy. But then again, if the Retina Display is not important to you, you can get a MacBook Pro starting at just $1099. Alright, so moving on to my third and final notebook suggestion. If you're not a fan of Apple notebooks or anything Apple does, that's fine because I think this notebook will appeal to you and it is called the Dell Inspiron 15. Now, I'm not generally a Windows user nowadays, but I gotta say this notebook actually looks really nice. It includes a touchscreen and Windows 8, so this means you not only get the convenience of a Windows 8 desktop environment, but you also get that fun and innovative experience of using a touchscreen. Oh, and by the way, it's something worth mentioning. The display is 15.6 inches, and the notebook itself weighs less than five pounds. So in other words, if you're looking to take this thing on the go to class, 
and back to your dorm or apartment or wherever you'll be living, then it won't be a problem at all. Now the best part, unlike Apple computers, you can have this Dell laptop for extremely cheap. As of this video, it sells for just $439 on Amazon. Yeah, less than $500. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, now let's move on to tablets because you might already own a notebook and you're looking for something more unique and you just love tablets altogether. Which brings me to my first tablet suggestion and that is the iPad Air. Okay, so the iPad Air does offer a 9.7 inch retina display, which is just beautiful for watching movies, editing photos, web browsing, doing social media. I mean guys, even things as simple as email just looks awesome on the retina display. And believe me, I owned the iPad Air for a little bit. I just don't own it anymore because I'm a bigger fan of the iPad mini, but still the iPad Air is an awesome tablet that's easily worth looking into. Especially considering the fact that every iPad Air comes free with iWork, which includes pages, numbers, and keynotes. All right, so if you're not familiar with iWork, it's basically Apple's version of Office. So Word is pages, Excel is numbers, and PowerPoint is keynotes. And yes, Pages does open Word documents, Numbers does open Excel documents, and Keynote does open PowerPoint documents. And of course, you do get access to over 2 million iBooks in the iBook store. And while let's face it, as the years progress, books are becoming more and more less relevant. So I think iBooks eventually will take over the need to have physical books in the classroom. Oh, and yes, the iPad Air does weigh less than just one pound. So compare to that one pound weight of your iPad Air to multiple pounds of several books in your bag. Now, if you ask me, I would much rather take around an iPad Air. It's just lighter, it's more convenient, and it does a lot more than just books. And of course, it does include wireless connectivity for accessories, including the ability to print your documents. So just because you're not using a notebook or a desktop, that doesn't mean you're unable to print. I've actually printed things for my iOS devices plenty of times, and it works perfectly. And now finally, the iPad Air does start at just $499. Now the next tablet I wanna talk about is just like the iPad Air, but a lot smaller, and that's the iPad Mini. Okay, so the iPad Mini has a 7.9 inch Retina display. It has that same exact kind of iPad experience, but in a smaller form factor. And just like the iPad Air, you also have access to over 2 million books in the iBook store. And of course, you can still wirelessly print, send files, etc. And it does include iWork, again, meaning pages, numbers, and Keynote. And finally, it starts at just $399. But if for some reason you do not want the rent and display, then you can get yourself an iPad mini for just $299. And now wrapping up the tablets portion of this video, again, if you're not a fan of the Apple ecosystem, I have a perfect product recommendation for you, and that is the Nexus 7. Now the Nexus 7, I used to own one. I don't own one anymore because I'm mostly an iOS person, but if I was an Android fan and I preferred an Android tablet, it would be without a doubt in my mind, the Nexus 7 because it offers a pure Android experience without any of those skins from Samsung or any of that bloatware crap that you don't need. Okay, so the Nexus 7, as the name suggests, has a seven inch 1080p display with a pixel density of 323 PPI. It weighs just 0.64 pounds, yes, less than a pound. And of course, it includes access to everything in the Google Play Store, such as apps, books, and so much more. And the best part, just like everything else, non-Apple, it starts at a very low price of just $229. So again, I just wanna reiterate this, if you're not a fan of bloatware or custom skins, on Android from other companies like Samsung, then you'll definitely wanna look into Nexus 7. It is the purest Android experience you can get today, at least on a tablet. All right, so now that we have all the obvious stuff out of the way, you know, from notebooks to tablets and all that good stuff, let's talk about some fun gadgets that I think could improve and make your college experience that much more enjoyable. And of course, high school as well, but I picked these gadgets with college in mind, but obviously these gadgets can apply to many different experiences. So the first gadget I wanna talk about is the clocky alarm clock on wheels. All right, so this is an alarm clock that basically does the usual alarm noise like burr, 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 and just tries to annoy you the most it can. But it takes things one step further by rolling away. Yes, it lets out this loud annoying noise, rolls off your nightstand, rolls around your room, forcing you to get out of bed and to shut the alarm off yourself. 
Now, if that doesn't wake you up, then I don't know what will. So I think this is just an incredibly unique gadget and definitely something worth looking into, especially if you're the kind of person who tends to hit snooze over and over again. But of course, it doesn't just wheel away. It also jumps up to three feet in the air, which I think is pretty cool. And now finally worth mentioning, if you do not want the clocky to roll away, then you can disable that feature. But then again, in my opinion, that kind of defeats the purpose of getting this alarm clock in the first place. Now, either way, if you are interested in Clocky, the link to Amazon is right below. And as of this video recording, you can get it for just $40. Now, the next item is near and dear to my gaming heart, and that is the Portal 2 Aperture Laboratories Messenger Bag. Now, I'm definitely a bigger fan of messenger bags over backpacks. I just think they look more modern and they're kind of more comfortable. Now, of course, this depends on which bag you get because I have a backpack that fits me just fine, but I also have a messenger bag that fits me just fine. And by fit, I mean, I just put it on my shoulder. But anyway, if you're a huge fan of Portal like I am, I mean, I love Portal. It's one of my favorite video game series out there. Then trust me when I say this, you'll definitely want to look into getting this bag. So it obviously displays the Aperture logo on the outside but it's also great for holding books and tablets and anything else that fits. And it does hold most notebook sizes. So if your notebook is 13 inches, 15 inches, maybe even something as small as the 11 inch MacBook Air, then it will fit in this messenger bag just fine. And the best part, it can store cake. Yes, it can actually hold a slice of cake, maybe. But seriously though, this Portal 2 messenger bag does currently sell for $60 on ThinkGeek, which in my opinion is a little steep, but if you're a big Portal fan like myself, then perhaps it's worth it. Now the next item I wanna talk about is definitely a lot cheaper, and that is the Oregon Transport Lunch Cooler, again, from ThinkGeek. Okay, so this is a very unique lunchbox. It's a white and red insulated lunchbox, big enough to hold a small meal, and even a couple of sodas. But the best part, on the front part of the lunchbox, it says this, human organ for transplants. And this is guaranteed to not only turn some heads, but it's also gonna keep people from stealing your lunch. Which I've never understood. Who steals people's lunches? Now, obviously this happens all the time, but I don't get it. I could never, ever steal someone's lunch. Just that idea has always bothered me. But anyway, if you're looking for a unique lunchbox, you can get this for just $13 on ThinkGeek. The link is right below. Now the next item I'm definitely a huge fan of because as you guys know, I love my lights. I love anything that just makes a room look that much better. So let's talk about this, or I should say these. These are three color changing LED candles with a remote included. So you do get a set of three and these candles can burn in 12 colors. Now the best parts, they're safe for dorms and apartments. Because when I went to college over at Richard Stockton College of New Jersey, they always had this very strict rule of not having any candles lit in our apartment, which I can understand why, obviously. I mean, you don't want to be burning down your college apartment. That's not good for anyone. And well, finally, let's be honest here. They kind of set the mood, if you get my drift. All right, so you can get a set of three of these candles for $25 on ThinkGeek. If you like lights like I do, Look into them. And now, finally wrapping up this video, this probably went a little longer than usual, but I love talking about this stuff. The last item I wanna talk about are the camera lens shot glasses. These are exactly what they sound like. It's a set of three shot glasses that look exactly like camera lenses. Now, each shot glass holds just over one and a half ounces, and they're great for geeks. I mean, I see nothing wrong with stuff like this. I mean, I love shots here and there with some friends, but even better, I love geeky shots. I mean, I already have a shot glass that says geek on it, and I have another set of shot glasses with the Pac-Man uh, characters on it, you know, Pac-Man and then all the ghosts. And I just love stuff like this, and I think you will too, and they do sell for just $7.49. And let's face it, guys, you're going to be partying in college. At least I hope you will be. That's one of the best aspects of college, in my opinion, it's just socializing and having a good time, meeting new people and just having fun. And probably along the way, you'll be taking shots. So why not take shots in style? And well, who knows, perhaps you'll meet other fellow geeks along the way. So that is it. Those are my best product recommendations for a college student as well as high school students. But of course, with my last item in mind, just be sure you're over 21 if you're gonna be drinking. Just gotta put that disclaimer out there because I like to be responsible. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this list. Now I will say before wrapping up this video, these items 
are just scratching the surface. Of course, there is so much more out there to discover. So with that said, if you have any other product ideas that you think fit well into this video, please do not hesitate to post them in the comment section right below. I wanna hear your ideas. The more geeky items that we can get in this video, the better. The more notebooks, the better. The more tablets, the better. So just keep them coming in. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, enjoy your educational experience. Cherish these days. Because once those days are done, you'll be out in the real world trying to make a living. But you know what, I will say, I loved college, but I also love what I'm doing now. I mean, this is my job, creating content making other people happy, spreading knowledge, spreading education, and I just love it. But I do miss college every day. I really, really do. Best years of my life. So guys, thank you so much. Your support is awesome, and I will see you in Monday's video or Tuesday, depends on how my schedule goes, which is the weekend vloggity vlog. Peace.